Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog and the very first vlog of 2020. I'm so excited because I just kind of want to talk about what has been going on. I was told in the beginning of the year that I was in contact with someone that was tested positive for covid so i immediately quarantined for the safety of my parents and i just stayed at home in the first few days i did do a rapid test in the beginning i tested negative but because of the inaccuracy of tests i just didn't really trust it and continue to quarantine and even though it was like a five day thing I basically just quarantined for 14 days anyway my jail time is officially over and I am finally out and about and just reunited with society and my bestest friend in the entire world <laughs> so as you guys know we have a podcast if you haven't already listened to it you really should because it's a lot of people good. Are, I know and a lot of it we love it and we get to be like our fun ratchet <laughs> And so many people are missing episodes. So if you are a podcast listener, as you know, for the month of December, we decided to take a break because we just had such a hectic like two months. Basically, this started with Teresa coming to visit in November yeah, in Toronto. Yeah. And then this girl for the entire month of December had just been sick. Like not even with COVID. Because I went out with you three days straight in Toronto. Yeah. And then it was fucking cold. It started to snow and then I the flu yeah and i think she was like exposed to my friends for the very first time yeah, and we are like we fucking lit they were like, so lit <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> i've never experienced that type of litness in years <laughs> She got sick right before her <laughs> BTS concert and she was sick like the entire month, not even with COVID, but just like with the freaking flu. Yeah. So we haven't seen each other in so long. And then because in the beginning of January, I suspect I had COVID. So I basically was also just like not seeing anybody for the first few weeks. We are now finally, finally together. together. And we're going to be recording and batch making episodes all of the next few days. So I'm actually going to explain what we are doing basically the first week of january we were supposed to go to las vegas for teresa's birthday <laughs> yeah fuck me and then that was canceled because of omarion omarion and also half of us got omarion including myself yeah and probably <laughs> me so basically just like it took us out and took the whole country out and plus like just not a good time to travel so everyone like we just postponed our trip but in order to make up for it i was like searching online to see if there was like a nice like staycation i actually ended up finding a place that you know someone needed like social media advertisement so we're gonna stay at this place for free it is in chilliwack we have never have you ever been to chilliwack um, I have for like the corn maze. I think is okay. it the castle fun park around there too? I have for like little reasons. I haven't stayed there overnight. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. I just love spoiling <laughs> my friends for their Aww. birthday. So I wasn't able to be with Teresa on her actual birthday because like I said, I just it was like the last few days of my quarantine and I just didn't really want to risk it. But we had this trip anyway, so it's fine. We're finally celebrating. So we're gonna be in this house and it's, it's so nice. I'm so excited to show you guys. I saw it online and it's so beautiful. I've also never been to Chilliwack. Like, I think I maybe have been to Chilliwack to like pee <laughs> on my way to like another city. Like, I don't know. It's like something like that. It's like super east of Vancouver. So I feel like I've peed in Chilliwack, but I don't think I've actually like been to Chilliwack. So we're gonna explore Chilliwack. I mean, it's too late for you guys to give us recommendations, but like, if you guys have recommendations for the next time we are in Chilliwack, <laughs> let me know. We are going to be there for a couple of days, and our focus is going to be just recording episodes. It is going to be season two, you guys, of our podcast. Uh, February is going to be our, our one year anniversary. anniversary. Oh my god. So, crazy. so, we're actually thinking of taking like a new podcast, like cover photo, because to celebrate season two. So, I'm so excited to show you the place i'm so excited to show you guys what we're going to be doing in the next few days and then stay tuned for the podcast so this is chillwack oh my god we're here it's so cute this house is so cute oh my 
god. Yo, this is, we can so retire here. That literally says the Chilliwack house. It's so adorable. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this home. Oh my god, look at how pretty this is. This is so cute. Okay, we are coming inside the home and it is so beautiful. Look at this kitchen. Oh my god, I love the tiling. I love this entire decor. Oh my god. And then, okay, let's check out the living room. Oh my god, the living room is so gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> Oh my god, this is literally like my dream, my content yeah, creator's so dream. Pretty. Oh my god, <laughs> Teresa! There's oh. more? Oh my god. Okay, look at this bathroom. Oh gosh, things. This is so cute. That little chair there is so cute too. <gasps> this room, Lisa! I haven't even gotten there yet. This place is too cute. Oh my god, this room is so cute. Oh my god. What other. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute. This oh is such a cute workspace. Cute. Obsessed. Okay. Yeah. Lead oh the gosh, way, my dear. So cute down here. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Look at this little cute area. Oh Holy crap. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. And look at the backyard. We can have a little like bonfire. Actually, is that even allowed? Not like we're actually gonna do that, but still. Okay guys, after I've already showed you guys the house, we did a little bit of work and now we're on our way to dinner. So we're going to Bo and Bo and Cern. It was recommended by our Airbnb person. Apparently it's really good for seafood and I love seafood. So I'm very excited. So excited. Dinner, we're getting some mojitos and we just ordered. Oh my God, this looks so amazing. Yay, we finally get to celebrate Teresa's birthday. Smile. Happy birthday, honey. Thank you, baby. Okay, so I have not vlogged in so long that I absolutely forgot that I needed to bring my camera to dinner. But we had a fabulous dinner at Bowen Stern. I did record, that's why you saw footage just earlier because it was from my phone. But I didn't even get to record the cake that the waitress graciously gave us because I was too excited and we ate it and devoured it. But we're now home, back at the Chilliwack house. It is so... Beautiful. I'm so in love. I also brought us boxed wine. Like there's only two of us and we're only staying here for Yeah, this is worth four bottles. Like what was I thinking? But I anyway, how far we'll get like, if we finish this I think we need to go to an AA meeting <laughs> like honestly so anyway, I brought this anyway. This is such a cool brand. We're gonna try the wine together and sip together and record our first impressions on it. They have so many really amazing wines. I'm gonna leave some info just on the side for you guys, but this is their rosé and we're gonna give it a try. Before we give the rosé a try, this is so funny. We literally are so obsessed with our music. We were concerned that there wasn't gonna be a speaker for us to just like listen to music on. So we brought our own Google Home or at least Teresa as did. we should. We As we should. Litty. Well, not too litty. Just yeah. a little litty. Talk just wine, wine litty. Wine litty. Yay! Okay, we're gonna have some wine night. Do you wanna do a first taste? Let's do it. Cheers! Cheers Whoa, this is really good. It's nice. It's like, I thought it'd it's be a lot sweeter. Light. It's like nice and light. I know, it's, it's not like easy sweet. to go down. Yeah, it's oh not my, sweet. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate like really sweet wine, especially like white or rose because mm. it's like, yeah, it's hard to keep drinking, but this yeah, is not good. that sweet. Mmm. Okay, I, I actually do think we could finish this. I think we could. Hello everyone and good morning in Chilliwack. So today is our first day in Chilliwack and we actually don't really have plans to explore the place. We are actually exploring tomorrow because today is going to be a full work day for us. We're going to be recording for the podcast. The only place we've gone is to Starbucks. 
I'm so sad because I went to Starbucks and I wanted so badly a pumpkin spice cold brew and they told me that the season was over and the pumpkin spice like syrup is just like not even in stores anymore and I'm so sad. It is the best thing if you guys haven't tried it. It's way better than a pumpkin spice latte. Yes, I said it. So you should check it out when it goes back in season. But I ended up getting a vanilla cream cold brew instead and now I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'm gonna show you all of my favorite products when I travel. All right guys, I'm gonna show you a quick life hack because I forgot my hair tie. So every time I forget my hair tie, I just either use a pen, but I forgot that too. So I'm now using my eyeliner to tie up my hair. And all you do is you just swirl it around and then you do a little 180 and ta-da! It is so secure. Like I could literally dance and <laughs> I look ridiculous. Anyway. Now that I'm showing you guys my morning routine, I'm just gonna quickly wash my hands because, you know, don't wanna catch nothing. Actually, what could I catch at this point? You know, if I already caught COVID, like, and I don't think Teresa's gonna give me mono, so what could I possibly catch? I wanna show you guys my favorite travel products because honestly, I have so much to say about travel products. Like I'm so picky and I think a lot of you had actually asked for like my favorite travel stuff because you know, you're always telling me like for all my solo traveling and like whatever and like how do I manage to bring all these things with me. So my trick is I definitely have all of my travel stuff in travel sizes. I am always Always very shocked whenever I go on a trip with friends we'll go on like a two-night trip and they'll literally bring like a full ass bottle of their shampoo and I'm like girl you don't have like travel stuff so I'm gonna make some really awesome sorry the the cap of my eyeliner almost fell out and just like the pen was almost exposed anyway so I'm gonna recommend to you guys some of my favorite and most essential travel products. And one of the reasons why I'm picky is because I like to choose products that are extremely reusable and versatile. So these are my criteria. okay? Number one, the travel product needs to be refillable. And let me tell you why it's actually better to just buy from a store, like from a brand, rather than buying like a container from the dollar store. Number one, you're kind of like just you know, creating more plastic to buy an empty bottle. Second, this is the part that annoys me the most. It doesn't come with a label and then you have to get like an additional label or a marker to write on it. And I always find that super annoying because I did have to do that for one of my products because it just doesn't come in travel size like this. I would have to put like curl cream as you know, this is my favorite curl cream from Verb. By the way, I have 10% off if you wanna check that out in the bottom. But another reason I don't like this is because yes, I had to put my own label on but this container is just like way too big for me so I like to buy things like this so this one is from Dermalogica first of all the toner itself is already one of my favorite toners I love that this toner is a spray because that way whenever I do my face I don't need to get my hands dirty this travel toner is the best because you can also refill it so once you're done you can refill it with your current favorite toner and just continue to always use this and you'll never have to get confused because it'll have the label on it and it already says toner the second step is serum and as you guys know this is my favorite favorite micro dosing retinol if you haven't heard me talk about this this is the key heals retinol and the formulation for the retinol is so micro that you don't have to worry about you know burning your skin you don't have to worry about training your skin and doing only two times a week to start you can start using this day and night immediately the only issue is that for serum I have yet to find a company that offers like a reusable bottle so as you can see like a packaging like this is not freaking reusable because after I use this like there's just no way I can reuse it anymore so I'm still in the hunt for travel size like vitamin C serum or night serum. There was also the one that I used from Dermalogica that was really good, but that wasn't a travel size. That was just the full size. And for Europe, I, I just had to bring it anyway because I was there for a month. So I needed to bring the full size anyway, but I definitely think even at the full size, I like did not need the full size. Okay, next step of my routine, I am gonna use eye cream. Usually for eye cream, this is not one of the products that you need to have a travel size because eye cream you use 
use so little of it. Like you're only using a pea size amount on your ring finger. So every eye cream is a travel size eye cream. Here's the trick, by the way, you put a pea size amount, put it on your ring finger and then you dab it. Don't put it near your eye. You put it down at the bone right here and you go all the way around because during the day, this cream is gonna migrate to the middle. So you don't wanna do it too close to your eye. And the reason why you wanna use your ring finger is because it is the gentlest touch of all your fingers. So the one I'm using this month is the caffeine eye cream. This is my travel one. The one I've been using at home is the new one by First Aid Beauty. That one's also really good. Moving on to moisturizer. So for a moisturizer, this is the one I used. I tried this last night for the very first time. This is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. And let me tell you, holy crap, this moisturizer yesterday when I used it, you can ask Teresa, my reaction was like, what is this? It's so nice. It smells nice. It feels so nice. Oh my God, I definitely am gonna get a full size of this product. Oh my god, this is only a travel size and I don't have the full size, but oh my god, this is so nice. As you can see, this container is something I really like because after I finish this, I can refill it with a moisturizer of my choosing and it would already have the moisturizing logo on it so I know it's moisturizer. So I just really like this. And then the last product obviously is sunscreen. Once again, I need to look for like a travel sunscreen because even though this is already a small product, for sunscreen, you don't need that much. So sunscreen, Honestly, people can make like a small sunscreen, but people just don't. I don't know why. Oh wait, actually, I think Dermalogica has one because it's so small. I use it for my hands, for the back of my hands to prevent wrinkling. I guess I do have a travel sunscreen. I just use it for my hands. But this is the one that I'm currently using for my face. As you know, I've been using this for a very long time now and even reviewed it, but I just had to bring this whole thing with me because I forgot about my hand one. I didn't get to show you me washing my face earlier, but. But the thing that I like to use is the Kiehl's. This one, this one's really good at removing makeup and also just being a morning cleanser. So if you're not someone who wants to bring a cleansing oil, this is one that I would recommend. Also, once again, I have a 15% off code for all Kiehl's products for Canadians. Um, it's very clutch, so I highly recommend using that code. But I also bring a travel Foreo with me. If you guys remember from my review video, I also have a travel Foreo now, so that is that. And then finally, I'm gonna show you my favorite shampoo and conditioner duo. Everybody, needs this shampoo and conditioner duo. This is the Kiehl's Amino Acid Shampoo and Conditioner. This is what it looks like. Not only is the product amazing, but you guessed it, it is refillable. Look at this. I can just easily twist off the cap and refill it once I'm done. Every company needs to make their travel stuff literally reusable because it's just so much better for the environment and we're not throwing the waste away. Cause like, imagine if every company came out with these, instead of throwing it away, I would just refill it and that's it. And I would never buy another travel size again and I would just buy the full size. Anyway, companies need to do their part. So the other favorite travel products that I have, so this one is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This one is not refillable because even though you can twist it off, you can see that the cap is so tiny. There's no way you can like put more stuff in there, but this is my favorite hair mask. And I always try to bring a hair mask with me, especially when I'm traveling, because whenever your hair is exposed to sun, like not so much right now in the winter, but like when your hair is exposed to the sun or if you wash your hair with hot water a lot in the winter actually so you do need it you just really need a hair mask especially if you like bleach your hair before to keep it hydrating it's like just using conditioner is not enough the next travel product i really like is the living proof mousse i have to be very honest with you it's not because i like this mousse it's because i like the size of the mousse as you know my go-to mousse is actually the joyco one and the only reason why that one's my go-to is because it's extra strength hold whereas this one it is just a regular mousse it doesn't hold 
your hair like as much it's not as intense so which is fine but like i felt like when i went to cabo and i only had a small suitcase i couldn't bring anything over 100 milliliters it was like not strong enough like my hair was still very frizzy but i, I had no choice i needed to get a travel size there just aren't a lot of companies out there that make travel size mousses after doing so much research this is one of the only brands that has travel size mousse so unfortunately i kind of had to settle for this one nothing against this mousse it's just for my my hair it's not strong enough the next product i've already said this a million freaking times is the daily micro exfoliant let me tell you when i say like when i'm at the airport and they make you stuff all your liquids in that tiny little ass plastic bag the bane of my damn existence i tell you the, like that's like my 13th reason but anyway whenever the guy's like oh let's put this in your little baggie i'm like no 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 this is not wasting my precious real estate in my little plastic baggie because this is powder so this is the best type of like face wash sometimes I don't even bring this face wash because I just I won't have enough room for the liquid so I'll just bring this as my face wash the next item that I wanted to show you I actually just started trying this I do like it I got this in the Loctane advent calendar and I really like it the only thing I don't like once again is the fact that it's not refillable but this is like a travel size body wash that I have tried out and it's very very nice and gentle and yeah I really like it I just don't like the packaging so I'm still in the market for a refillable travel size brand product but anyway yeah that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this uh segment of my fear travel products all right, so Teresa just got back. We actually spent the entire afternoon doing a little bit of our own work first. So Teresa had a couple meetings. I did a few emails that filmed a few things for paid sponsorships and um, we randomly got hungry. So we got KFC. I feel like every time I'm with Teresa, I always somehow end up eating fried chicken. And usually with my friend group, I feel like I'm always the one that wants to eat fried chicken. But with Teresa, I love how I'm not the only one that just like comes comes up with the idea of eating fried chicken. So I feel less of a fatty. And let me show you guys what we got. Oh no. Wow, what a steal. We got fries, nuggets, and two pieces of chicken for $5. What a steal. Oh my God, do they have ketchup? Please tell me they have ketchup. It is still Teresa's birthday week. She brought her outfit that we were supposed to wear to Vegas, to Vegas. and she got me to wear her matching outfit. I love matching. Anyway, we have your cake right there. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, we need to get your Prezi. We literally just filmed like a million episodes. Oh, go over there. Oh. Oh my god! Ready? Are you ready to make your wish? Yes. And go! <sighs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day. We are still in Chilliwack. Today is our last day, and we are checking out today. This place was honestly such a great staycation. It's so cute. We are gonna go explore Chilliwack today, walk around downtown. We're gonna go to a bookstore, and I'm actually also going to take a cute little picture by the Chilliwack Museum, I think it was. But anyway, I wanna also show you guys my hair. This hairstyle is because of the Dyson Airwrap. This part is just so nice. Like I would simply buy the Dyson Airwrap just for this part in the front that it makes it into. Basically, you can watch my entire experience on TikTok and see briefly how I did it. It was more of like a first impression because I was trying to figure out how the Dyson Airwrap works, but it looks absolutely amazing. Like I'm kind of sold on it to be honest, but at the same time, like not really because I don't usually blow dry my hair and for like $800, I'm like, do I really want to spend $800 on this if I don't use it every damn day? I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm so excited to take you guys along um, our little day in Chilliwack and yeah. We are currently now in downtown Chilliwack and our first stop is The Bookman. It was actually suggested by our Airbnb person. Okay, we are here at Bookman and let's go in. Ooh, thank you. Wow, it's so cute. 
Oh my god, there's even a little kitty. Hi. Hello there. Oh my god, so cute. This is so nice. <gasps> oh, this is my this is my favorite area. Look at this. Look, it's all the spiritual stuff. Okay, we just finished at the Bookman, and it's so funny because I went in there with the intention of just taking Instagram pictures, but I didn't realize that they had so much good stuff. I picked up literally like eight books or something. Yeah. It was so cheap because- they're cheap. And they're like used books, right? Yeah, so they're used okay. books. Each book that I was like looking for already was like no, six bucks. I actually like have a Kindle and I like usually read on my Kindle, but um, for these books specifically, because I keep on flipping it back and forth, it was so hard on my Kindle to kept on like going like and tapping through all the pages. So I was like, okay, I just need a physical copy of this book. But it is a lot of Louise Hayes books i just i really like her books um they're very positive anyway so i picked up like five of her books for like seven dollars and i also got like a cute bookmark i also got an affirmation deck i've been looking for those for a long time and then they're by louise hay so i was like amazing two birds with one stone and then now we are headed to the chilliwack museum which is right here for me to take another instagram picture lol but yes isn't this so cute i'm gonna take my picture right on this staircase. Look at how beautiful that is! Wow! Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, Chilliwack really likes their freaking Starbucks. It's like yeah, every do. block. drive through every block. Yeah, every single Starbucks is a drive through So right now, we are going to lunch. We're going to get some Thai food. It is called Coconut Thai Restaurant. I asked in my stories if there were any recommendations for Chilliwack, and there was literally like two recommendations. So we're going to both of them. We went to Bowen Stern the oh, other day. Recommendation? Yeah, uh, by our Airbnb okay. person. And then this one is actually by a friend of mine so we're gonna go check out this restaurant but apparently it's like a must go so okay so the thai chili place had their power cut off so now we are at alicia's flavors which is a authentic mexican place thank you Ooh, some nachos yum got some tacos smile yay <laughs> Alright, first impression of the taco. Let's go! This is a fish taco. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The flavor's melting my salt. So good. Hello everyone and happy Thursday. Today we are going snowboarding at Mount Seymour. I am with Eric. As you know, now that I am free, I am trying to go out as much as possible, especially just like outdoor stuff and snowboarding, especially because I wanted to do one snowboard session at least once a week while I'm here in Vancouver. So now that I'm back out, I'm able to do that. So I'm so excited. and. I've already been to Grouse Cypress this year and then now I'm hitting up Seymour. So we are currently at top of Seymour. This is the um, second chairlift so. that they have. Hello. Say hi, Eric. Hello, you guys Rana. remember Eric. He's been in a ton of vlogs. Yeah. yeah. a special guest star, the repeating character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're at the, what's the, what's this chairlift called again? Brockton. Brockton. This one's really good because it's foggy everywhere else in this mountain except for up here, but the chairlift closes up portion of this. So this is gonna be our last run here. We're gonna take a picture. We're gonna do a blue run this time right there because last time we did the green. We got stuck. There was like one area that you have to go uphill, which was ridiculous, and um, he had to carry me. I will insert a footage because I filmed it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Happy Friday! Today we're taking some pictures outside and we're also 
gonna go to a cafe. I decided to meet up with Natasha. Say hi. Hello. Please go follow her on Instagram. I will leave her handle right here. But yeah, we're just doing some picture taking. Hopefully by the time this vlog is up, our pictures are up. So I will leave the address of the places because we do not gatekeep here, okay? We're now heading over to a cafe called Mon P2. It's super cute. Um, I have yet to go there, but it's always like on my Instagram. So I'm super excited to show you guys. <laughs> oh, everything is so cute. Yeah. Say hi. Got ourselves some cappuccinos. All right, we are playing. Uh, ready? We're playing. What are we playing, ladies and, and gentlemen? Yo, I got one more tip! Yay! Guys, this is what happens when you start believing that you have good luck. Look at how much I won! Hello everyone, welcome to another day. I want to recap what happened last night because I wasn't able to bring my camera out and by the time I was ready to vlog, there was all this music playing in the background and for copyright reasons, I wasn't able to talk. But essentially, it was Friday and Teresa and I decided to go out and initially the whole plan was actually to just go to... Sorry, I had to fix the camera because it kept on falling. But if you guys haven't seen my vlogs before, or if you're new here, Teresa and I, we love going to the Fairmont Pacific Rim in Vancouver for drinks just in their lobby. It's like one of our favorite, favorite hobbies. There's live music there, and it's just like such a nice vibe. It's like one of our favorite Vancouver activities. So we were initially gonna do that, but then basically one of Teresa's really good friends from her sorority asked us if we wanted to go out with some of the people that she had recently met through work. So we did and it was so much fun. Basically, we started off the night at D6 and I've never been there either. It is just um, where Park is, like P-A-R-Q, not like an actual park but it's like where the hotel and the casino is. So we went to D6 for drinks and I really, really, really like the vibe there. I wanna say I like it more almost than Fairmont because I feel like Fairmont is like a very, very classy vibe, which obviously I love, but I think like right now, this stage of my life, I'm like, not that I'm not classy, but it's more like, I just wanna have like a more like lit vibe, if you know what I mean. And especially because I feel like the Fairmont is like almost a little bit more like dangerous tea like you you go there for dates or whatever that's just also not the part of my life right now and avoiding men at all costs yeah it's just like always nice if i go with Teresa alone but like for a group of friends like i prefer d6 now that i've been there one time only and then basically after that we went to a club called levels and yes clubs are open in vancouver okay so before y'all come at me let me explain basically because i had a few questions on Instagram and I kind of like explained it there, but essentially clubs are technically open. And by technically, I mean, there are so many restrictions in place that it's basically not a club. So when we went, rules are you have to get a table and each table, so like you have to buy bottles and you have to get tables. And when we were at our table, um, there's also a limit of six per person. So it's just like a restaurant. And the other thing is like, you also need to order food. So it's really just like a restaurant like you're not there just to drink so when we went we had some food i'm gonna share with you some footages from my instagram stories but it was really funny because we had like fried chicken at literally like a club booth which like is so new but and in terms of safety this is so ironic but it was actually safer for me to be inside this club than it was in a restaurant just because there was literally nobody there because of all these restrictions like nobody's willing to go to a club like you might as well just freaking go to a restaurant it was very safe because we were the only tables there the next party really playing it fast and loose with that term the next party was like five miles from okay not five miles but you know what i mean like a thousand meters away from us that being said it was actually very very safe and that was our night then 
Okay, this is my favorite part of this entire story. Basically, after the club, like one of the guys, he was just like, oh, can you drive me back to D6 because uh, I left my car there? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I drove this guy back to park and then he sees the casino and he's like, wait, actually, I'm gonna go to the casino for a bit. And he's like, do you guys wanna come? By the way, this by this time, it's already 2 a.m. And we're all just kind of like, eh. They were all like, Lisa, it's up to you because you drove. And I'm like, so we're AF because I drove. So I was just kind of like, Okay, like sure. So we go, this guy pays for my parking, like pays for my valley parking, also gives us each $50 to gamble. So Vanessa and Teresa, I think they like, they were playing for a while, but eventually they lost their money. But then I was like really, I don't know, I was like on a very big lucky streak. And in case you guys didn't know, because I haven't vlogged for a bit, but pretty much ever since after Europe, I've decided to revamp my luck by telling myself that I'm the luckiest bitch on earth like I know y'all know how I feel about my luck and we've all coined Lisa luck together I decided to just try something new and just pretend that I'm the luckiest bitch on earth and long and behold your girl wins a hundred dollars in profit from gambling but really a hundred and fifty dollars because the guy gave me fifty dollars also don't feel bad for him because afterwards i was like oh like you gave me 50 like do you want your 50 back and then i'll keep the 100 and he's like no you earned it and then also at the same time i was his fucking lucky charm he even like texted me after he was just like yo you were my luck because after i played i just like kind of stood by him and he would be like okay what do you think i should do i was like calling all these shots even though he was one betting all this money and i was just like ah but then like he kept on winning so i was like you're welcome you're welcome like i actually do think i need to get paid for or like a commission from everything that was going on so not only was i lucky to myself but also i was lucky to somebody else and i think guys that this is like a such a huge glow up of lisa luck if y'all agree but it's like how did i go from this unlucky person to this lucky person mentality is how I like to coin it. But anyway, that was pretty much my entire week. I am bringing back weekly vlogs, hoping that my life is interesting. So as long as my life is interesting, it will be vlogged. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next vlog, which is next week. Sorry, my makeup is half done and I'm crazy. But anyway, bye, see you in the next vlog.